I'll be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Mm -hmm. Here's the other one. It really says, you know, I'm looking for, I'm, I'm trying to find this product, right? I'm, if you can point to the way that maybe it is. Because a lot of cases when we look suspicious, because we look, we're lingering around looking for something. They want to take that in. If you look at the you take something. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's still, that's profile. That's profile. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and, and we get it. I mean, whether it's people from black, I mean, white men or black women. Yeah. They always right, say they're a stereotype. And they're right. stereotype for poor white, too. They're poor white. Yeah, you know something, though? I, I, what I ain't figured out, though, is do they have a, a backdrop for that? Maybe there's something in the experience that justified their behavior. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, they're taught. Everybody's taught that. You got, I mean, you see it on TV. And and, and like that, that book I got, I forgot to download it, uh, Rape of the Mind. But your program. You just yeah. see it. You hear it on the news all the time. Right. You know that that black people are are, are just bad by nature. That's all you see. Yeah. You know, you see some people robbing a house. You you know you'll hear about it if it's white, but if they're black people, they show the video uh -huh. of black people. Yeah. You know, you never see white crime on TV. Uh huh. Right. You never do. You never see the white people on TV. I'll put it this way. It, when I was reading that book on Stamp from the beginning, uh -huh. it really was kept saying, uh, one second, let me see. That, I think that that was saying that's the most big condom minded. That goes back to what we talked about the scripture being condom minded. The condemnation, you got not only you condemned, you know, there's now no the condemnation those in Christ Jesus, but there's condemnation of people in the flesh. Yeah. And not only not only is it yourself, that's what I think is the biggest threat is you condemning yourself. Yeah, yeah. I know uh I deal with it a lot, you know, the enemy brings up you know things that, that I've done in the past. Yeah. And and I know that's that's covered in the blood God's forgiven me for stuff like that. But uh -huh. it's placed on my mind. Yeah. Based on the Lord's prayer. To forgive him. Yeah. If I even if if I was doing the sin, like if I was uh fornicating with uh -huh. somebody, uh -huh. you know, that person committed sin as well against me. Right. And so i it's been in my heart, you know, to say, Well, I forgive them. Uh -huh. or, you know, or or anything that, that the enemy brings up in my mind trying to accuse, you know, he's an accuser of the brother. Right. So anything he brings up, you know, I, I just say, well, I, I, I'm, you know, that ain't me, but I forgive that person and I pray that, that they forgive me and I just move on and I just let that go. I know. And see, you know, I think the conversation, I look at the scripture again, verse two, is that this is, this is, we, you know, remember he said there's laws of God, right? But there's also laws, spiritual laws, right? Oh, yeah. natural laws, right? And see, this is where we get into is verse two. Read that verse two. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. Right. In a lot of cases, when we become carnally minded, that's basically what I'm trying to say. When I'm carnal minded, I'm law minded. And in law minded, I there's any violation that I do in the law equals death. Yeah. Opposed to anything that I do spiritually minded. Even if I violate a law of a man or and I guess even with God, but I think when you speak about it, what is the laws of God? We probably need to study that, you know, more carefully. The law of God, right? Because it's a law of uh, God is to love, right? And that fulfills all the law, right? See, so so the question is that when you carnally minded, you're law minded, 
And that's where you, you know, only thing about being law minded, you being a judge all the time. You judging yourself and you judging other people, guess what? The law. Yeah. And that's where you come in condemnation. God is saying is I have I have set you free from the law. See, daily, that's why I'm saying it's so important to walk daily in the spirit by faith, because I'm free from the law of sin and death. Yeah. But the, the those who are carnally minded Didn't. are not subject to the laws of God because it doesn't affect them. No, but the, you know they're 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 not they're they're not the children of God anyway. Well, and so the law that, doesn't apply unless unless they're descendants of Abraham. No, it doesn't have the law. Does. Then you know if they're not a Hasidic Jew or anything, that law don't apply to them anyway. No, the law because the reason is natural laws. The reason is laws within themselves. Yeah, those who don't have the law have laws within themselves. Yeah. So, so you have laws that, that, that you have created for yourself. Some people got laws sitting there saying, I don't have that's there. I mean, I'm just shooting this at a small level. Don't eat meat. And they end up lusting for me. And let's say they even taste me. They had just violated the law, right? In themselves. Yeah. So now they want some type of punishment to themselves. And in the bigger world, the society wants to punish you. Legal listens churches. Oh, you got to go. We're gonna, we're gonna sit you down. Now we gotta sit you down. We, you, 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 you keeping that lady, that that mm -hmm. that, 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 that lady. What, yep. what, you, you can feel, you can feel it, right? You can feel the 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 anger for punishment. Cause I mean, it got so bad, it got out of control, didn't it, Elder? It did. And it wasn't about sitting there and saying, everybody come to mentor and say, Elder, I think you just got to, I think you really, and I, just, I think you should let me go find him, find another place, man. I really do. I, I, I just, you know, I, I love you and I, and, I, and I love this lady. Matter of fact, why don't we find a place where she can go with some other lady and live until she gets herself situated? Let us yeah. have, right? In other words, there was nobody volunteering to tell you. Right? right, you hear nobody do it. Right, nobody. They if they it bothered them so much, but nobody decided to say, let me go find a, a woman who will share a property. Yeah, that that's that's what I'm saying is about cardinal mind, the law of sin and death. The woman caught in book an act of adultery, the law of sin and death. That's what the law does. And that's how people get depressed. That's how people want to kill themselves. There is a, there is a condition that's created by certain acts that separate us from God. Huh? There are certain actions, there are certain things that we can do uh -huh. that separates us from God. Because when we think in terms of death, we're not talking about the lack of animation. We're talking about the lack of fellowship. Okay. We were dead in sin, in, in, in transgressions and sin. It wasn't that they were animated, or they, you know, they had no awareness. They had no fellowship with the Father. That still happens with us now. Hey, but tell me something. Yeah, we, we can. It's, if the scripture says He'll never leave you, forsake you. It's not him that's leaving, you leaving, right? Leaving, the judge. Right, and you become the judge. So there are certain things, not, it's, it's certain things that will actually hinder that relationship. So when we when we think in terms of that relationship being breached, what's lost? What's actually lost when we're in that, that, that state of sin? Right, become law-minded, right? So, I mean, what do we, what do we lose when we breach that relationship with Christ? Yeah, but here's the question I have for you: Is it free? The, the, how, how, how do you breach a relationship with, with Christ? Come on, Elvin. Tell us that. Tell us that that pause was intentional. I think I like the question. There was no exchange of information in, in the midst. 
that's, that's spiritual spiritual death. Spiritual death that it did not have to do with him not being in their presence or them not in his presence or them not being aware of one another. Is that they just wouldn't exchange any information anymore. So the fellowship, I mean, the, the, the waves on the television in the air are there. The television is turned off and don't receive the wave. So it's it's like the, the the condition that we were in prevented us from actually being one with the Father. And when you think it turned away, I think now it's Johnsonism, so you know we're gonna play with it like we want to, but um when the Father, when Jesus prayed to the Father, he prayed that we be one. And all that we are con we converse about right now is the oneness that we achieve by the Holy Spirit working in and through it. Right. So God literally lives inside of us. So is there any conditions where that relationship can be breached? If it can be, you know, um, what can I say, degraded? Is there anything that, that can come in the midst of our doing that causes that relationship to be knocked down the mind? And you, it, it, it appears as though there are some things that can happen. Well, I, what I was eventually out of that, the question is that the law of sin and death, mm -hmm. who was executing the law? At that time, uh, no one, and, and I can't remember what that scripture is, before the law came, sin had its impact, but it was not accounted to them for sin because there was no law. And because there was no law, it said, well, there is no law, no sin is imputed. Is but nonetheless, purpose? sin was still having it, it still did the same thing, kill for. What's the purpose of the law? The law was to make us aware of the acts that we committed that were sin. Right. Came to us as a tutor. It, it did have the power to make so, it increase sin. It, it was to make awareness. sin much more about. It made our awareness of it much, much greater because a lot of things we did, we did know we were sin. But when the law came, you know, the part of the sin revived. And that which was given to us, supposed to bring life, actually brought death. Because not only were we wrong, but we were aware that we were wrong. And the law couldn't make it right. So Jesus Christ comes in by the power of his Holy Ghost. He actually empowers us to not keep the law, but to exceed it. Look, look what it was said to me. Can I, can, can I ask, just, this is just a hypothetical. Mm -hmm. So, is there a law against seeing a naked woman? No. I, I can't think of a lot, a lot of says you should, uh, I can't think of one anyway. But, so, but, but, no, no, no. I'm talking about seeing a naked woman and looking at her. I'm not saying you lusting after her or anything like that, but because there is a law is talking about lusting after a woman and that we won't even look at her right. if she's naked Sound like eat because the... because if we do uh -huh. then there is an opportunity for sin to take place yeah okay. so to me come on now like you were saying, we we make laws for ourselves to help us to help keep us? God's laws. <laughs> yeah, but, you know? and, and this is when I'm talking about this was before the redemptive work of Jesus Christ. Right. That, that the, these are things that are done. And even actually they're even done now. Exactly. Because there are still people who are trying to put old wine. Yeah. In new wine skin. Right. That was so, it. Uh, you read saying you were free. Yeah. From the law of sin and, and death. In other and words, death. it does not apply to me in Christ Jesus. Okay, but still, with that said, with that said, you still won't just sit there and stare at it and make it walk. If you, if you, the question is, is that if you do, are you free from the law of sin and death? 
Because the only way you're going to be sin, if you sin, that means you're operating a law. Well, so what did Paul say? Paul said, what did the grace did more abound? Yeah, but what, I, what, I, what, I, what I'm saying is, there is a natural, natural. Those, who, those of us who are in Christ, right. we will naturally yeah. look away, close our eyes. That's that's because it's in you. Because yeah. of the law. Of the law. What law? Because of the law. The the, the law, the, you know, the, the law thing that, that, that um right. thing that B. Lee always brings forward is that you don't have to have a stop sign because we got stopping in us. Once we receive the Spirit of God, righteousness became our nature. Yeah. But we inherently don't. Someone said, and it wasn't Bill who said, the law was made for the lawless. If you have that law in your heart, if you have that, that inclination in your heart, that behavior in your heart, you're going to do that because that's what's in you to do. Yeah. But now, so, be before, before, I was saying, let, let a woman be naked. Oh, you think I'm turning away? No. Well, the question, the question is, because in some cases, some cases, a lot of us don't turn away. Uh, I, I, yeah, I mean, most people don't turn away. Uh, but here's the question I have for you, though. Why is that a law that, that if Christ, you read the scripture and said, we've been free from the law of sin and death. Yes. Right? It holds Christ to the law, and I'm going to show you the scripture. I'll let you read it. Uh, oh, I know. I, 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 I know all that. All I'm saying is, we're not under the law, but there's things that we do because of the law. Because, it, and, 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 and things because. Don't do because of the law. Pardon? I mean, things we don't do because of the law. Yes. Things that we do because of the law. Then there's things that we do because of the law. I mean, because of the, the law that's written in our heart, we, we don't. Now you preach it. Now you preach we don't, it. We don't stare. Yeah at women because it leads to something and yeah, we know that and yeah. we know that so we turn away but if the law is not written in your heart okay then you're going to sit there and stare and allow it to lead to something you know what's really, really funny about that is that pornography is not illegal well, here's the the God, but the sons of god don't get involved in pornography because we know in our heart that they're wrong but here's the question you but start but lusting but here's right. the Condemnation. I'm gonna go back to that because I think you're making a very good point. If you see a woman staring at a naked woman or a woman in bikini, what what do you like, do? You condemn that person? Would you condemn them? And the question yeah. is, do you have authority to condemn? Them? Wait a minute. Say that. Say that. What's the question again? If you see a brother. Or sister parent is somebody of the opposite sex. Do you condemn them? Well, it it and it, I guess I would have to be in that particular moment because now if they're staring with lust in their eyes, I mean you can tell, you know, how people look at folks who, who are lusting at them, uh pretty much. Do you condemn them? No. What, what is there? What is there to condemn? Exactly. If that's what is there to condemn? I now, if they're it. if they're lusting, if they're sitting up there like, ooh, man, she's fine, all that. I wish I can, I can get, or I can get with him, or I can get with her. That that's lusting. Right. Yes. What, you what, you 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 minister to that person. Okay, so you don't condemn the person. No, you minister that, to that person. That's the whole point I was trying to say. Is that because that we talked about many times before when a person comes into the body of Christ, I can't put any condition on them because they're growing in Christ. That's right. So I so but if you get a brother get comes up to the altar or say do the prayer of salvation with you, and and, and then they go out and start getting drunk, that that still doesn't mean they're not saved. It doesn't mean they come in as a little child and they grow. Right. I'm saying is that all of us grow through life. That's what I'm trying to say. And that's yeah, why even after, so even if you are a, and this is this is in my mind. Yes, sir. If you are a seasoned child of God, mm -hmm. and you drink and get drunk, 
Okay. I don't think that is being taken to. You're, you know, the alcohol has not, it's not controlling you. You just got drunk. Yeah. Now, if this is a, a process that happens all the time, and you have to drink because you're addicted to it, that that's the problem. Well, that, but I mean, that's a sick, right? That that means yes. that's something the person needs deliverance from. Yes. And and but yes. they're in condemnation, and they're not out of Christ. That's that's I, right. I'm trying to say when he says from, from the law of sin and death, it Paul, you know, chapter seven, it does not give me the it does tell me the sin, right? Whatever that scripture says, say the one in the seven seven. What shall we say? To the law of sin. God forbid. Yeah. Hey, I, I would not have known sin, but the law, for for I have not known lessons of the law of sin. Yeah. Thou shall not covet. Now right? I find myself covered. Yeah, but <laughs> but sin, taking occasion by the commandment. Like, in my memory. Like I said, because before, look at it. Before a person knew the law, they, they didn't it didn't bother them about no. covetousness. Not at all. It didn't bother them about lust, drunkenness, or anything else because they were not subject to any law anyway. Well, I, 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 this is what I believe. You can have somebody who just who cuss like a sailor. I mean, however they, they cuss. <laughs> but, you know, just, just use profanity right. throughout all their communication. And they get saved. Yes. And they keep on using profanity. And if they're around Christians... long enough and and the christians do not have to tell them no you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that the spirit will let them know that 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 needs to change and, and, and it'll work on them, right it'll work so on them. it doesn't take it doesn't take us as christians to point out uh, uh, an unrighteous act or what we believe is unrighteous uh -huh. Righteous to somebody to change. You shouldn't do that. Right. That no. The Holy Spirit will do that. Right. And that change will come with the renewing of the mind. Yeah, it comes to do season too. And that's why I think he said you're free from the law of sin and death. Because that the law says you die. Now, some people sit and say, what, physical? No, I'm talking about spiritual, right? I'm really talking about spiritual death, right? <coughs> Maybe both. I think you're talking both. It, it, well, it is. Ella is talking in the long run. If you go back yeah. to the Old Testament, it yeah. means, right? The woman caught an act of adultery. <coughs> the stone and <coughs> kill her, right? Yeah. But the Bible talked about man was so sensitive that they were disconnected from God, right? Yeah. That's the spiritual death, right? Yeah. Christ is saying that we've been free from <laughs> death. We're free from those laws. Doesn't so, make any occasion to see it, no. But I think the but, problem is no condemnation. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying this, as we talk about anybody listening to this video, now there is no condemnation to those yes. who are in Christ Jesus. That's correct. Walk well, not after the flesh. Not after the well, flesh. Walk well, well, not after the flesh. Oh, he's saying this because I'm saying is that just like your child, we have to look at each other as children of God, growing, yeah. and we don't need to sit because some people, some people go back. All of us sometimes have a tendency to take two steps forward, take a step back. We're all subject to that. Whatever conditions may be, we're subject to, to go back to some areas that we started from. It. And, and what God wants us to do, and I'm telling people in the video, God wants you to understand, look, I'm not leaving you. 
you leave me, but I'm not leaving you. I think the one thing also that we bring into a, a view is the fact that those who give much, much is required. Those who don't know will be beaten with a few stripes. Those who do will be beaten with many. Uh -huh. You know, say where it said like those he loves, he chases. But he, so, yeah. I think I like the part about he chases. Yeah, he, he chases. chases. So but, let, let me let me ask this. So adultery. Yes. So it was it was not God that said stone that woman to death. It was the law. That was under the Ten Commandments. I should not commit adultery. Okay. But it wasn't God that said stone that woman to death. It that was, was man. Because was, if it was God, it would be stone the man and the woman. Oh yeah, it was it was just possible. I said it was it was man to 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 stone them woman to death. You know, I was God, why, God is no respecter of person. So why would he only stone the woman? I do want to throw, I do want to throw something at you on that one. Remember they said they the uh, that sister way to trap Jesus? Right? Say that again. No, they, they, they did it to trap him, right? See, they they they, they, they uh Yeah, they were trying to catch him. They, they were trying to catch him. Yeah, when they said about the woman who's married, yeah. who is she? Who is she be married to? No, no, no. The, the woman that they want to. The, this is woman. Oh yeah, the one that she wanted to stone. Yeah. Right. Now, see, I don't know. That that kind of tells me, being that the law is the law, right? Yeah. Maybe she didn't. I, who is it? Probably she didn't even do it. She did it. Not what I'm asking in the sense of what, what, <laughs> what was the trick in there? What was why were they trying to trick him? Because they wanted to catch him in something that they could accuse him of. Accuse like, him? No, 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 not these people. Not yeah. these people. Because if she's caught in if she's caught in the very act of adultery, yeah. the law says, and that's what Jesus even Jesus got right. Jesus said, I, I, I agree with you basically. Yeah, he didn't do it. No. Who, who, who over here? Who I just want the person who has not sinned. Cast yeah, the first stone. You cast the first stone. I want to bring the person up here who has not sinned be the first to throw the stone because every last one of you should have a stone thrown at you. That's exactly right. But you want to go and condemn, and that's what I'm trying to say. I like what Christ said and that we're free from the law of sin and death. I am free from anybody. Throwing a stone at That's right. But remember what Christ told her at the end of that conversation? Yeah. Don't sin no more. That's what he said. Go and sin no more. He didn't say she didn't sin. He just do not do no more. Don't sin no more. And I say what I'm saying, I think for us as, as believers, take the example of Jesus, is I'm not gonna condemn you either. But I'm saying is we have taken a traditional approach, and I ain't I'm, I'm, I'm you and the church and people, even sinners, have taken a position to condemn people with the law of sin and death. 